Okay, um, good morning, or good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're watching this. Back by popular demand. Um, it's not back by popular demand, <laughs> it's just that I fancy doing it. Um, is an, uh, a garage update, garage tour update. Um, oh, I think I'm looking in the wrong thing. Um, so what's I going to say? Yeah, if you look at, well, I know, let's just say, and I always probably have to say this, to the untrained eye, this looks... Um, like a shit tip however and especially if you compare it to some of the previous uh garage tours i don't know if i'm looking in the right place now or not um then um does that help no it doesn't um there's there's major progress in partly because q4 was was good to me um i sold lots um i've just taken a black sack of stuff that i um just wanted to that you know was sticky stock that just really wasn't selling and was going to be bulky to pack like if I reduce it right down um to like really really cheap prices it's going to be an ass to pack so I'm not I'm not bothering with that God alive um so I'll turn you around and uh, have a little oh yeah one thing I want to say actually is finally I'm sure yeah probably I've always rolled clothes <laughs> and finally like and I've been mocked for it since since I was a teen and I went backpacking and my friend and I was pulling my little rolled clothes out of my backpack which I am sure don't get creased as much if you roll them um and I've yeah been mocked for it forever basically and now Mary Kondo's all like everyone's like oh yeah I'm rolling I'm rolling my socks I'm rolling my knickers I've always been rolling well I don't roll socks and knickers actually I don't roll large items but you know leggings and things in drawers I always freaking rolled them um, and now it's popular and in fashion, so people are all rolling. Well, I'll show you my rolls in here. And, you know, a good thing about rolling is if you are worried about plastic bags, um, I don't know. I mean, if you had the Calax units, you probably could just roll in each. You could still number your Calax drawers and you could roll um, in each drawer, I think, and not have to keep them in slippy bags, especially if you're posting with slippy bags. Uh, but that's just my take on it anyway. Um, how can I turn around? Oh. Oh. Bear with me a sec. I can do it from here. I might have to do this in two shots because I can't work out turning around. What's that do? Me. Okay, here we go. Um, so, oh, shaky hands. Um, yeah, so we've got the like family bikes there, but also on the front, where I'm not so worried about dust and leaves coming in from the garage door. That's where all the boxes live. I've got like three, like most of the storage I've got's come off free cycle. So like you know shoe racks. Um, so those are all my friends give me their boxes and neighbours. Um, <laughs> yeah, Tom. Husband did a uh, gym run last night, I think, and this morning went, oh yeah, by the way, the boot's full of packaging, because my friend who we live share with always gives me all of that packaging, which is fabulous. Um, so yeah, yeah, all of these like shelves, apart from that little kitchen trolley, I paid a fiver for that. Um, but yeah, our friends, if they're sorting out shelves, always offer them to me, all these were just off recycle from friends. Um, yeah, so that's packaging there. This was kind of like toys area. These, I've got some thousand piece puzzles left there, which actually um, I'm trying to get out of the thousand piece puzzle um, game. I think like, say you've got Game of Thrones thousand piece puzzle, then you're away. But the general ones, I'd rather do the larger puzzles as long as they're sealed, um, they're quite good money. Um, yes, oh, there's the remnants, remnants, but that's the rest of the vintage baubles. Um, I did sell, so if these two are on together, these were about 99p a box, or £1.49, got three of those, but these owe me nothing because I sold off, sold off, um, there were some new ones in with them, which I just sold off on Facebook, which paid for all the lot, then I've sold a lot out of that, that lot that um, went for, I think it was 40 baubles, went for 50 quid. And then I've got these 30 baubles on, which I think are on for 40. Um, yeah, and there's the remainders of the wicker as well. Um, not doing so much wicker this year, although the car boots obviously haven't started. So, uh, yeah, watch this space. 
there's that beast up there it's gonna be a beast package um still got a load of rice size there but i'm gonna wait till chinese new year's um done and dusted and then donate that lot i think it i'm sure it's paid for itself anyway i did sell bits and bobs um so yeah in there what have we got well, i put this up the week up the other week axis and allies sealed board game which i thought was gonna be worth a lot more than it was because i paid a tenner for it but i think it's worth about 25 30. um yeah some adult harry potters that i need to get rid of actually i'm having quite good success selling the harry potters that i don't want for bundles on facebook um yeah so there's my still got quite a few pimpernels but i've got finally got rid of the last clover leaf so yeah placemats oh that's that's actually family stuff up there that's the last wicker framed mirror um yeah i'm not sure i'll pick those up yeah uh, I've got some paperback cards in there. Oh, random stuff in there that I think is probably going to need to be redonated. My Harry Potter tapes. So, going, yeah, going from here. Oh, actually, yes, yeah, so I showed you down there, didn't I? That's where I've got the like bigger, bigger puzzles, the 2000s, 3000s. Um, still a bit more of the kind of homey wear that I might just redonate in there. Um, Filofacts is still living here, so I just go for oh, what's going on there. Filofacts and paper chase generally. Oh, although that's not so that, that's going to need to be decluttered if um, if that doesn't go cheap. Um, I think this is actually a cashmere pot here. So yeah, if you've seen these before, you know that I kind of do love a blooming flexi tub. Um, yeah, overview. If I just do an overview, there's a lot of the um, house stuff up there sleeping bags for us but that is the overview so then it turns into clothes so a couple of tubs of jumpers there these aren't folded well that happened to know that's a cashmere tub that's non-cashmere that's cashmere and here you go here's the folding start so these were the, like the littler cardigans so i put in all of the queue and jigsaw or queue is the thing of jigsaw um in here in rolls and so basically if i know i'm after a queue or a jigsaw cardi you can see the ends so you can just pull it out um so it works for me then i've got a couple of tubs of um cross stitch kits in here and i've got another tub up there the laundry the laundry tub of cross stitch kits have i got another one oh yeah there is another one i've squeezed in actually when i had my little haul last weekend there we go another little tub and then so i've got various pots of the big jumpers because they just, yeah, I kind of like know that the vintage big jumpers are in these pots. Karen, I know you're going to be <laughs> crying <laughs> seeing this organisation, but seriously, it works for me. Um, I've only got one pot of skirts because I was kind of getting out. Oh, God, look at this gorgeous skirt. It's this vintage Laura Ashley. Picked this up the other week. It's so gorgeous. My daughter doesn't think it's gorgeous. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And there's the label. 90s Laura Ashley. I was like, oh, yeah come to mama um yeah so I, i've only got one pot of skirts because i am a bit picky with skirts um so yeah a lot of jumpers right now where it's so all of in here is um cashmere and you can see more rolling here so it's quite easy to pick out um the roll rolled and see my rolls it works and you know no plastic and actually who's, i think fake rachel said she had plastic be careful because she stored like a cashmere jumper in plastic and it leached or something you've got to be careful of that um then i've got these are the these are what's left of tops um i've said i was sort of getting out of tops i kind of i'm not out of tops but i would obviously prefer to go for high-end tops and this is kind of everything that's left from last year. Some that I have started picking up recently, like these um, these are Land's End uh, florals that got a bit of a thing for floral jumpers. Oh, Becca Bamba, if you, you see this, I thought of you when I picked that up. This Western print, it's only a cheapy one. Um, that's what's left of mugs. I've been selling a few mugs, bizarrely, this time of year. Um, so they're going. Sold loads of shoes and boots, actually. Um, so yeah, there's my shoes and boots. And there's some, some nice gaps there actually there's, oh i forgot there's a pair that i'm actually just going to donate i think that's still there somewhere got these the other day these are 
Sancho boots and I can't remember who was talking about Sancho boots but they are some, they're in really good condition as well um, tough to bits I think they paid about six pounds and they're worth oodles um, right so then yeah I love these um, so that one down there is one and the I've got three of them of these uh, cot changers I've got a free cycle because I love the height that you can have your tubs for sorting through so this is a grey cashmere tub this is my mesh mesh jumper tub just got this whistles yesterday so that's all mesh jumpers this is coats and jackets which I'm not meant to be adding to because they took such a bugger to store that's coats and jackets that's actually vintage dresses but I'm probably going to change how I store those that's oh that's a load of um that's uh, family stuff that's chairs I'll just show you actually so yeah we're lucky we've got this little cupboard um, and it's round and it goes back like across there is the stairs inside because this that's like the side of our house in there and then we've got this cupboard which I mean it is round look at that and it goes I can't show you around the corner because it's dark but it goes down there so that's all the family stuff um, and then, so yeah, that's all, oh, that's actually a men's tub there, um, all big jumpers and yeah, there are jackets spilling out over there, that's, it's a bit naughty, isn't it? Right, my shrugs are in that little pot down there, that's beige coloured cashmere, got these little, which my friend gave me, these little drawers, so, uh, yeah, got some soft sockets in these. I've been selling a few softs and a tub of softs up there recently. So hopefully, I don't, I've tried to be a bit cheesy with them now. Right, so another, um, what is that? Cot changer. Um, and that's the leftover of the jeans and jean skirts of ladies. But I may start looking at those again. That's random trousers of ladies. Um, now the dresses, um, how it works, so you can see they're all folded. Oh, it might have got a bit mingled up during the Christmas rush, but the idea was that these two tubs are sleeveless dresses, short sleeved, and then I had a tub of uh, like three quarter lengths, and then a tub of long sleeve. And they're all, you can see, they're rolled. So if I'm looking for a short, sli uh, no, a sleeveless dress it'll be in here and you can see all the ends so um you know let's pull it out um then in this set of drawers this is almost apart from Bowden on the top it draws Bowden which I'd probably pull that out because everything else now is oh no is that a lot is there still some fat face in there because it was fat face Bowden phase eight I've pulled the rest of the phase eights out because I'm phasing out phase eight and then the rest is white stuff <laughs> There you go, more rolling evidence. Um, so if, I, if I'm after something white stuff, it's easy because I know white stuff lives in here and you can see it all. Oh, shut that up. God, it's freezing my head. Yeah, it works. It works for me. Um, yeah, I need to sort out. So that's, what's that, like dorma sheets and stuff. That was like, I was going to call it sensitive. I don't mean that. What do I mean? Delicate stuff. Um, that's the last of those bottle bags. Got rid of two. I think I'll just get rid of that one. Some ties there. Oh, of course, there's another box of rice eyes. It's everywhere. Some blankets up there. And that's it. Um, oh, Christ. That's the only thing. The Sahara jacket had a sleeve on the floor. Oh, yeah, and there's a random store. And I sometimes do pick up these tubs and just stick it on the top so I can sort through <laughs> without bending my knees. <laughs> That was bad, I should be bending my knees. Um, yeah, so that's the update. And yes, plenty of Mary Kondo style rolling. And um, I know this sort of thing is not for everyone, but if people are seriously getting into rolling, I really think it's a good opportunity to try and cut down on your plastic bags. Because look, I can, well, I can see, I, I don't lose stuff. If I want a top, it's there. Just look at the ends. Um, yeah, and there you go. Have a lovely day, everybody. Um, until next time, bye-bye.